वेलकम एवरी वन टू माई चैनल दैट इज़ फास्ट एंड ईजी मैथ्स विच इज़ डेडिकेटेड टू गिव यू टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स रिलेटेड टू मैथमेटिक्स सो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व जी मैथ क्वेश्चन विच वर आर्स इन द पेपर ऑफ सेकेंड ऑगस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन ओके सो दिस इज ए सी सी वन ट्वेंटी फाइव जी मैथ क्वेश्चन ओके सो नाउ हाउ डू वी सॉल्व दीज काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन ट्रस्ट मी ऑल ऑफ दीज आर लाइक सुपर सिंपल ऑल यू हैव टू जस्ट यूज योर बेसिक नॉलेज of uh, addition subtraction multiplication division and you also may notice that these questions are involving alphabetical series as well okay so for this i have made a very separate video in which i have explained how to go about alphabetical series okay so the link of that i will put up somewhere on the top as well as in the description okay and in this video don't worry i'm going to definitely solve all of these questions together okay so for the first one we have 5 which is followed by 2 which is then followed by 17 then it is followed by 4 and then we have to find out this particular number which will be followed by 4 and then sorry which will be followed by 6 and then it is followed by 47 which is followed by 8 and which is followed by 65 okay so now over here please understand whenever you have a series which is a mix like you know you have numbers which are initially which is decreasing then increasing then again decreasing then again increasing means it might be a series of alternate digits means you might have to actually consider two sequences one with the numbers uh, which are placed on the odd places and numbers which are placed on the even places so you now saw how easy this entire sum became so now if you look at the even place we have 2 4 6 and 8 so means after 65 what we should have we should have 10 because all of these are even numbers so now over here if you see we have 5 and then 17 and then there is a question mark then we have 47 and 65 okay so here what we will first do is we we'll let's try to find out the difference so the difference between 5 and 17 is 12 and the difference between 47 and 65 is how much it is 18 okay so now understand if we do a difference of 14 over here and then so basically if you add 14 to 17 you should get some number to which if you add 16 you should get 47 so when you add 17 plus 14 we get what 31 and now like i said we'll add 16 to it so we getting 47 so by default i can say that my next number which should be 31 I hope you understood. So here I'm going to add 14, and now then we are going to add 16. Okay, students, if you like the way I'm explaining, then please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos. Okay, now see over here. This is very simple. All of them are even. Okay, so if most of your sums are Uh, you know most of your elements are somewhere even or rather all of your elements are even then you are somewhere dealing with multiples of 2 4 8 something like that okay so now if you look closely 8 is very sorry 8 and 18 so we can say 18 is very close to double of 8 so if i multiply 8 by 2 and then you add 2 to it i get 18 now similarly if i multiply 2 to 18 i get 36 and then i'll have to add 2 to get 38 and let's check one more time if you multiply this by 38 by 2 i get 76 when you add 2 to it i get 78 okay similarly for this also it was it is true so next what we should do is multiply by 2 when you multiply by 2 you get what 316 and then you are going to add 2 to it so your answer will be 312 okay students since all of these competitive exams are very time bound i would suggest just if you have found out the pattern in the first two three things and you are like really uh, short on time then it's not necessary for you to check all the way if you found three uh, sorry four elements which are following the pattern by default it will follow for this one as well <coughs> but if you have time then definitely check for every one okay you can even check this orally once you get the hang of things and you become very good at your calculations okay so now the next one is f e d i h g l k j then we have something which we have to find out and r q p now listen over here if you read all of these elements instead of reading left to right let's read them right to left so we have d e f then g h i then 
J K L. Then we have P Q R. So after L, what we should have had M N O. But now understand, don't select this option because all the answers or all the elements are written in reverse. So we will have M N O like this, reading from your right. So option B is your correct option. Okay, students, don't forget at the end of this video, I'm going to put up a DIY whose answer you can mention in the comment section. Okay, and this DIY will be super special because it will involve numbers as well as alphabets. Means it will be an alphanumeric series. Okay, so the next one, <coughs> what we have over here is two followed by three, which is six. Then the, you have eighteen. Then we have something which we need to find out, and then we have one nine four four. Now very quickly understand. If I multiply these two, I get answer as six. If I multiply these two, I get answer as eighteen. So let's see if I get multiplied six into eighteen. What do what do we get? Is one zero eight. Okay. Now eighteen into one zero eight you should do. Right. So now understand. You can do this with the normal method of multiplying. But normally I split eighteen in terms of ten and eight. So I'll just multiply 108 by 10 is nothing but 1080, and multiplying 8 with 108, I get what 4, 6, and 8. So I get 4, 14, 1, carry 9, 1, 9, 4, 4, which is my option. Okay. So in this case, I can say my answer is 108. I hope you understood. See, uh, student, I I I request all of my students that whenever you have something like this, where you need to find an element which is in between the series, okay, not in li like the second question, but other of uh, other questions, we had find we had to find elements which were in between. So in that case, you can you know like cross verify your answers because you know that if the entire pattern is being followed, then the next element also should obey that pattern. Okay, so if it is obeying, that means the answer which you have found out is correct. If it is not, means you have done some mistake. Okay, so this is also one way of dealing with these kind of questions. Okay, so now we have A, D, G, J, M. Okay, then we have B, E, H, K, N. So this is a K, and this is C, F, I, L, O. Now if you look closely. Uh, what is for um, um, what is the alphabet which comes after a b what is the alphabet which comes after c uh, b which is c so your answer should have the first element should be d so this one option d is cancelled then d which is followed by e then f to f ke baad kya aata hai g so i can say it directly this is my answer which is if you look closely g ke baad h h ke baad i then you should have j j ke baad k k then l and l ke baad we have m And then M N O P. This is P. Okay. So now time for your D I Y. The D I Y question is, like I said, it will be an alpha numeric series. So your question is three, which is followed by C, then which is seven, which is followed by G, then we have twelve, which is followed by L, then we have eighteen, which is followed by what? Your options are R B is S. C is T and uh, D is letter V. Okay, so very quickly, please solve this and let me know your answers in the comment section. In case you have you are not able to solve it, please let me know so that as well I will definitely make a separate short video of that. Okay, so that's it for now. I will see you in the next video. Bye.